Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are still at it here in the uh, in the basement, and we are going to be watching the new Pet Cemetery trailer. This is trailer number two. Um, yeah, I'm still unsure about Pet Cemetery, the Pet Cemetery remake, because okay, the first one was the first, the original was a little bit corny, but that being said, I still thought it was I still thought it was pretty damn scary. Uh, did you ever see the original? Yeah, um, I saw it after I'd seen a lot of other horror movies and was kind of desensitized, so it wasn't really that spooky to me. Well, but I watched like, from the it, first I trailer like in this eight. one. Like from the first trailer in this one, it seems like it could be pretty cool. Well, if they're so. going to, that well, a lot of people saying that a lot of directors now are going to start are going to start copying Jordan Peele and his cinematic techniques, in which. It's not necessarily a bad thing, like no, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's an evolution of the of the art form. I mean, yeah. whenever a new director comes, like if he I've, causes a, causes a horror revolution, that would actually kind of be awesome. Well, because I mean, <laughs> on the Get Out's one of the, my favorites that I've seen in the last few years, and Us looks like it's going to be just as good, if not better. Also, did you know uh, what he's actually working on producing now? What's that? Uh, not only presu- producing, but also presenting. Uh, the new, uh, he's, they're redoing the Twilight Zone, and he's going to be the oh, presenter. I didn't hear that. I and, had also heard that he's possibly going to be, uh, working on a remake, or producing a remake, at least, of, uh, Candyman. Candyman. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be producing, uh, I believe, I forget who they said. Which is funny, because, like, we were talking about, like, a couple of months before that Candyman remake was announced, movies, horror movies that we think should be remade, and I yeah. think I mentioned Candyman Candy would Man. be a cool one. Yeah, yeah. And if only they could get Tony Todd to come back, that yeah. would be pretty freaking cool. Although, nice. although I would, I would be okay with seeing another actor playing, you know, playing the Candyman. Uh, but Pet Cemetery, if they, uh, I guess we'll have to see how they go with this. Uh, so I guess, well, without further ado, let's just hop into it. This is Pet Cemetery trailer number two. I think it'd be funny if they, he just got Key to play Candyman. <laughs> yeah, I could see. Yeah, it'd Key. be more goofy. I, I than could see scary, Key. He just he just like bang. Cool. He just like knock his hook on the window. He'd be like, he'd be like, bitch, you left this unlocked. So his I'm expressions he can make when he's trying to be more serious but still kind of funny would be hilarious for the Candyman. Yeah, I could I could see hilarious that. and creepy at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think so. All right, so here we go. This is a uh, Pet Cemetery. Here we go. L.A. discovered a charming little landmark. The Pet Cemetery. A place to bury our pets and remember them. It might seem scary, but it's not. Perfectly natural. You say it's that. Like dying is natural. The whole town's been using this place for generations. Folks make a kind of ritual out of it. <laughs> It's not some campfire story. It's all these little trees up there. They're warnings. Hmm. The local tribes carved them before they fled. They fear that place. There's something up there. Something that dates way back. Those woods belong to something else. Something. That cat was dead. It brings things back. Cheers. Oh no. Oh no. I know what you're thinking of doing. But they don't come back the same. They don't. Daddy. Who's? <laughs> What's going on? Fuck your daughter. I should never have shown you that place. Your child is not the only thing that will come back. The barrier is broken. We have oh a second chance. Lord. Sometimes dead is better. (laughs) A 
kill you? <laughs> 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 that, one no. always, that one always hurts no. to think about. No! Ugh. No! Uh, the truth is, it's because I've seen, I've seen Achilles tendons go. I witnessed one, ha- like, pop. On, That's on one of the reasons field. that uh, Trick or Treat, Ugh. like, really creeped me out. Ugh. The first time I watched it, because the scene with uh, that one. Ah, uh, dude. Pretty messed up. Okay, so, Ugh. Pet Cemetery. Good yeah. lord, man. Yeah, Look. see, like, this one looks a lot creepier than the original. Well, the original suffered from a very heavy dose of 80s cheese. Yeah. And not the good kind of 80s cheese. The wrong, wrong kind of 80s yeah, cheese. Yeah, like, not like the It miniseries. Yeah. Like, the, a little bit more like uh, uh, Sleepwalkers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, so, I... Okay, I I know what the twist was. I've always known what the twist was because I've seen the mo- or the original. But um in terms of in terms of what they're doing here they're switching up uh they're switching some stuff up. I guess we'll have to see how things play out, but I feel like they gave away way too much in this. In this trailer, I, I, they I might could, be they wrong. could be giving you like a red herring for some of it though. This is like, true. They've done that in the past. They could be being like, "Yeah, we got all these big surprises coming," and it's like, "Oh, they don't even know though." <laughs> you never know. True. But I don't know. I say, say they'll probably stick. You know, at least like along the like not like out here from the source material, but you know, at least like along there somewhere. Well, yeah, but I'm still I'm. I'm still concerned because that's one problem I have with movie trailers nowadays is they give away too much. Yeah, they do. I mean, and and it hurts the film. Do I think that it'll hurt this film? I don't know. The only way we can truly know is if we is if we get there. One of the mistakes that like horror trailers make a lot is accidentally giving away a lot of their big scares. Yeah. And this kind of did at least a couple like because I, I can tell it's not like super reliant on jump scares, but it definitely gave away a couple of its big like ah moments, you know. So oh, I mean, yeah. hopefully, it's got a lot more under its hat for when it comes out. Because well, hope it didn't give well, away here's the hoping. Anymore. I mean, that, that's that's all we can say at this point. We hope. I hate when the biggest moments are in the trailer. I know you want to hype people up for it, but. Mm-hmm. That sucks when the best moments are already in the trailer. Oh, well, it's just like see the movie. in Happy Death Day, a lot of people... That also kills the shit out of comedy films, too. Well, yeah. So. Happy Death Day, which is sort of a pseudo-comedy horror thing, mm. uh, it's... Um, like A lot of people say that its most shocking moment is given away in the trailer, uh, and and I gotta say, after seeing the film, yeah, it does. Hmm. It does. I Although got, they are, I doing... got lucky then because I didn't watch the trailer before I watched it. So. Oh, good for you. Yeah, good yeah. for you. I liked man. it a lot. Oh, I did too. I liked it. I liked it. I'm actually kind of excited about the second one. Uh, yeah, and they are doing a second one, so that's something yeah, it comes out like to. really, really soon. Actually, oh yeah, like sometime this month, <laughs> like possibly like within like a week or two, maybe. God, and the, and I don't think they've done much marketing for it. I've seen like a couple of things on Facebook, but. Well, yeah, um, but no trailer. There's been no trailer. Well, I've seen a trailer for it. There really? is one a trailer out, yeah, because uh, Andrew came across it the other night. I was like, I'm going to watch this real quick. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Okay, well, I, I haven't seen it. So, okay. All right, well, <laughs> God. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this was Pet Cemetery 2019, uh, trailer number two. So, are you all excited for this? Or do you all think that this will live up to the hype, or do you think... Uh, it will fall short of expectations because a lot of people are excited for it part two, mm. which will come out either late this year or early next year. I would kind of be stoked if there started to be a trend of remakes of Stephen King's old movies being like really, really good now. Well, like, the, cause one... the only one that doesn't really need one that bad is the mist. In my opinion, Oh, the shining, which Stephen King, the only reason Stephen King was unhappy about that is because oh, yeah. Kubrick actually made it into a suspenseful film. Yeah. Whereas when Stephen King tried to make it a uh, make a horror movie out of it, all it was was just people just like explaining stuff and talking about stuff. There was very little to no too much fluff. Yeah. Well, not even fluff, dude. But but just like glug, just yeah. 
Like, okay, we get it. The boiler's very complex. Can we move on? Yeah. And then you look up here, and here's a steam valve to let that. I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, I remember you made this joke it. last time we talked about that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we get it. The steam yeah. valve, this and that, blah, it's blah, like, blah. come on. Get, get on, on with, with it. it. Yeah. So, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of Renegades React. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed, and if you want to see more from us, links in the description, as always, down below. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And we'll see you then. Peace out.